guys, Omar here. Uh, I wanted to give a quick update on the Fuji X-T20 on vacation. I'm here in New Orleans for the week. <laughs> and stuff at home to see how the Fuji would do. And so I'll go over some of the pros and cons that I'm finding with the Fuji X-T20 on vacation. First, let me apologize for the sound. I didn't bring a microphone on vacation, so put up with it. Do I miss the Canon? A little bit. The Canon, it just fits like a glove. I can shoot without thinking. Okay, let's start with the good stuff. It's small. I mean, duh. Just not lugging around the huge camera. So that's number one. I can shoot on the street without being noticed, which is the best. Just quick, stealthy. The flip screen has been a savior in situations where I want to get a street shot or a situation where I don't want to kind of be noticed. So just looking down at the, the flip screen is great. So if you can get a camera with a flip screen, flips up, great. Film simulations. I've been switching film simulations based on the situation. Uh, to, I've been using Classic Chrome, Velvia, Standard, and Agros the most. Just sticking with those. One negative that's always advertised of mirrorless cameras is the battery life. I'm prepared for it. So I have three batteries. I have not been, I'm, for a whole day of shooting, I haven't had to go, go through three. So I've shot pretty much, I would say one and a half batteries for a day of being a dorky tourist. Uh, that's with video, so that's photographs and videos. So I'm the first day I got over 200 plus photos, but like seven gigs of video. So if you're just doing photos, I'm sure you could get over 300, no problem. So battery life is what it is. Have backup batteries if you have this camera out. <laughs> positive is it's been fun it actually is making photography fun with the dials and thinking of what I want my shutter speed to be it's you know like a new toy so I think that's part of it bringing the fun back into photography so the camera is definitely doing that it's like when I first started okay the negatives negative number one for some reason and I've tried different settings, but the focus point is always off to one side. It's always way to the right or way to the left. You know, I shut the touch screen off. I thought it was the touch screen first, but I think it's just my custom buttons. I'm gonna have to fix that, but that has been annoying. Focus point moving. Negative number two, learning curve. Uh, having to reset for a new shot. For example, if I have auto ISO, uh, and I've got the limit to a certain shutter speed, but something really quick is coming, you know, to like get everything ready for that bicycle coming or that person jogging is just, you know, and it's just, I'm not used to the camera. So I'm not ready to cat. It's been frustrating that I've missed shots because I see the action coming and the camera was set to video. So even that, like, I'll put the camera up to my face to take a shot and it starts taking video because I'm like, oh, I didn't turn the freaking dial. It's not a negative of the camera. It's a negative of operating the camera. So I think what I need to do is just go to reset mode. Like after I finish the classic Chrome shot with a slow shutter speed, just go back to something that's a general shot. You know, something that's a higher shutter speed that can catch action or a moment quick. So I think that's part of the learning curve. All right, one weird thing that's happening too, and someone did mention this in the comments, is sometimes things stop working. The buttons decide not to work, but it's only happened about twice where my custom setting buttons just don't work. If I go to reset them, they show what I set after all, which is weird. So I don't know what that's about. So just weird things are happening here in New Orleans. <laughs> But anyway, it's been super fun with the camera. Uh, I've enjoyed walking around with it, taking video. Uh, it's just been a beautiful time here on vacation. And I definitely wanna pick up some primes, a few lenses, uh, you know, something that opens wide 
you know, just to get more shallow depth of field. I kind of miss that. So maybe like the 35 F2 lens would be great to walk around with. People say that's great. The kit lens has been performing magnificently. It's been great. And like I said, it's been forcing me to work with it. That's why I haven't brought another lens or bought another lens. It's like, let's, let's see everything we can get from this lens. <laughs> hard to learn the camera even though it's kicking my butt every now and then changing its focus point and all kinds of stuff but we'll get it we'll get it together hope you guys are out there shooting too <laughs>